Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and Wargame World. And uh, the Battle of Waterloo is over with. The Wargame table has been cleaned up. And uh, we're going to run this video. It is about... I watched a YouTube video of uh, Robert, Dr. Robert Smith and U-Boat Captain game that he did an unboxing. Well, I watched the video. I downloaded the game. It's print and play. It's available for about $9 on War Game Vault. And I paid for my copy. And uh, I am so happy with this game. I'm actually running this unboxing video myself. I don't do a lot of uh, videos like this. So uh, the game is called U Boat Captain Mid in Games. Um, you can buy it made, but you can print it for. Um, very inexpensive, nine dollars, and uh, I'm gonna go over the game a little bit. I got it last night around six o'clock, and I played to one in the morning. Um, it's the closest thing to B-17 bomber, Queen of the Skies, and U-boat world with zero learning curve. So, without further ado, let's look at some of the components. Well. When you hear print and play, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to have to glue and cut a ton of counters up. So all you need is these counters here. Damage counters and these damage counters. Cut them out, glue them on a poker chip, glue them on a piece of cereal box cardboard. Uh, you'll need a ship or a U-boat. Uh, you know, I only cut out a couple for right now. Last night I was just goofing around while we were watching uh, the Santa Claus movies. And uh, so there's not much to building this game. It's not like you have to make 200 counters. If you can't cut out uh, some 10 little cubes, and uh, it took me only a couple minutes to make those, and I glued them on a piece of uh, Cheerios uh, box, with a glue stick. So, what do we have for charts? Okay, the rules are very easy, and there's basically four, five charts all together, and I guess you could count six for the U-boat log sheet. But uh, you need a deck of playing cards, and some couple dice, and on my table we have the Peter Dice. If you watch any of my videos, at times the Peter Dice come out. They're made of styrofoam, and I can throw them around on the battlefield with my miniatures. So one of the first things you do is you find out the location of where your U-boat is being sent. Quite easy. You draw a card. So we got a four of clubs. And so... I'm going to say it's 1940, and the Four of Clubs, boy, that's coming into the British Isles. So we know where my, my U-boat is. It's got a destination to sink as much tonnage in the British Isles. Well... We have a daily patrol card, and then all I do is flip cards, and it tells me what's going on. If I encounter a convoy, I have the option to bail on the convoy. All right, one of the neat things I really like about this game is it came with, I don't know, I've lost track, 15 different types of U-boats, and... You keep track of your fuel, so every day turn you lose a, a fuel marker, and you also have the uh, trouble markers, which is your engine room could get damaged. Your hit points are over here, so this this U boat's got eight hit points. Um, torpedoes, and then you have your deck gun which is really neat I uh, sunk two freighters last night with the deck gun it does give you options you know you can surface save torpedoes um, I also had a problem where I didn't have my lookouts um, and I 
got one U-boat sunk by aircraft, which was interesting. So if you played B-17 bomber, this is very close to that. You place your uh, your damage markers around the the U-boat, and so for example, um, my diesel engine's been hit. Yeah, oh, my uh, electric engine's been hit. So you just place these um, markers on your fuel tank. Um, you know the the deck gun. My dive planes are gone. Um, there's the fuel marker, and so forth. Oh, since my U-boat's really been hit, let's put in the periscope um, damage too. So, uh, and at the same time, your uh, as you take these different points of damage, you place your marker over there. Your gun ammo card counter. And torpedoes. Now, different U-boats have the ability to fire different amounts of torpedoes per game or per per mission until you go back to get more torpedoes. Um, I had one that only allowed me to fire two torpedoes. Another one I upgraded, and I got a, a, a U-boat that allowed me to fire five. So, uh, I'm not going through a whole playthrough or anything, but. Uh, you know, you know, I have my Fast Play War Games, Brandywine, French Indian War Volume 1 and 2 on eBay to support Braddock Road Preservation. But I just really had to uh, take time to uh, make a video of this game because I played it on the coffee table while watching the Santa Claus movie. Uh, my wife actually... Uh, help me uh, make a few decisions on this U-Boat game. Um, and no, she did not watch Das Boat last night. We watched several of the Santa Claus movies. So, to sum things up, U-Boat uh, Captain, Maiden Games, War Game Vault, $9. Probably the best $9 I've spent on a board game um, in a long, long time. And don't worry about cutting out counters. There's only 10 of them or so to cut out. You can be playing this game in 15 minutes. Um, again, thank you, Robert Smith, uh, Dr. Robert Smith, for doing your YouTube video on this game. Because I wouldn't have even known about it if it wasn't for you. And a shout out to uh, Chris Mintis and his uh, uh, Facebook the Board War Gamer Facebook site. I did ask a few people and they pointed me over to uh, to that video. So War Gamers helping other War Gamers. I hope you've enjoyed this U-Boat uh, uh, little unboxing. And thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. Be extra courteous. It's Thanksgiving time. And happy Thanksgiving.